Hey guys, welcome back. This is John Dorer, president of EB3.work and Immigration Office Solutions, and wanted to talk today about uh, answering some questions that we've had about the EB3 process and our jobs and our employers. The um, One of the most common questions we get is, what jobs do you have? And so let me move my big head here. Um, on eb3.work, if you click on the eb3 jobs list, uh, this is where we list our current positions. Right now, uh, we have an opening for, for several construction laborers in North Carolina. This is a big uh, federal, uh, a big contracting company that has um, federal highway contracts. And so it's outdoor work, uh, construction, a lot of shoveling asphalt. Um, great company, great benefits, uh, and they need workers. And so they reached out to us uh, to try to help fill uh, the, the, the positions that they're unable to fill locally. Uh, we have a, and if you click on the link, so basically what you want to do is click on the link. It'll take you to uh, an application page. And so fill out uh, the application form, it's, it's a little bit long, but it makes sure that we know that you qualify for the green card. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, so go all the way through the process, click next. Um, and you will, uh, after you get through, then you'll see the fees for, uh, for this project, for this job, this EB3 green card job. And the third job we have, actually, that's the second one, construction delivery helpers in Utah. Uh, so this is a this is a big company, um, similar to Home Depot. They're they're a construction material company, and they deliver uh, materials to job sites. So the the contractor orders, you know, roofing materials, drywall, uh, you know, wood. Uh, and your job is to uh, be on the crew th that gets in the truck, goes to the job site, and unloads the material to the job site. Uh, the third one uh, is, is a company, uh, a pizza company in Utah. And um, this is, this job is um, kind of a, re it's a restaurant job. So you're going to prepare pizzas. Um, according to the employer specifications. And uh, it's a great job. Um, and the employer is just, uh, all of these employers, the reason that they reached out to us is because they are simply unable to fill um, the jobs uh, locally. There are no local workers that are available. And so um, what we do is we work with employers and applicants uh, like yourself, and um, guide you and, and apply for the green card for the worker. So the worker can come, the applicant worker can come to the U.S. Uh, in permanent resident status and work for the employer. So let's talk about the process a little bit. Go. Okay, so if you click on the applicants tab, so the EB-3 is an is a employment-based legal immigration category. And essentially, EB-3 unskilled means that there are very minimal requirements for the position. So think, um, uh, you know, um, a dishwasher uh, where there's no education requirement, there's no, there is no uh, work experience requirements. Uh, maybe a, um, a server or a host at a restaurant. Uh, maybe there's a high school diploma as the minimum education requirement. And what we do at EB3.work, we have a team of immigration attorneys. We work with employers. We, we help them clarify their positions so their job titles and job duties and minimum requirements are compliant with the Department of Labor regulations. Um, we prepare the file the prevailing wage request, 
prepare and file the uh, prepare the recruitment. We work with uh, permat agencies that do the recruitment on behalf of the employer, and uh, prepare and file the uh, the perm petition, the ETA 9089 labor certification. Uh, and then the I-140, the second step, and then the adjustment of status. And so the, uh, the regulations allow the applicant worker to pay for the I-140 and the adjustment of status, immigration attorney fees, and USCIS fees. Uh, and so that's what, we, uh, that's what we help facilitate. So we find uh, employers who... Um, are unable to expand or, or even keep their business open because they lack uh, local staff to run their operations. And we match them with foreign uh, national worker applicants who have the ability to pay um, the fees for their immigration process and uh, are willing to uh, work for the employer for at least, at least one year, a 12-month employment commitment is required uh, uh, for the companies that we work with. So let's go through this page um, and kind of cover the highlights. So these EB, when it says EB3 job, it means that we will, our team of immigration attorneys will apply for your green card so you can come work for this employer in the U.S. And uh, when, when you have your green card, it's permanent residence. It's good for 10 years, you can renew it and you can apply for citizenship. Uh, it's important that you uh, do work for at least 12 months for the employer. Uh, otherwise you will be ineligible for citizenship and at risk of um, your permanent residence would be at risk also. Uh, so the steps in the green card process, um, you can either complete the application on the jobs list page or complete the, uh, the form below to get on our mailing list. And we'll notify you when, when jobs are available. Once you apply for one of the jobs on our list, we'll send you an application um, between uh, for us, eb3.work, uh, where you agree to uh, the terms and conditions uh, that you want uh, to work with us and have our team of immigration attorneys file your green card once you have been offered a position by one of our employers. So after we receive the agreement, uh, the employer will receive your resume, he'll interview you, and uh, ideally offer you a position. And once you have that written offer, then uh, that's when you make your first payment to us. The fees are generally around twelve thousand five hundred altogether, and that covers um, all of the uh, attorney fees, all of the immigration fees, all of our consulting fees um, for working with you through the process, helping you acclimate uh, and get settled once you're in the U.S., and making sure that you um, transition to your uh, to your new employment in the U.S seamlessly. The, uh, we have installment plans where it's uh, four payments over the course of about 12 months. So typically the first fee is about 3300 Once you receive uh, the job offer, that means you're locked in, you're guaranteed a job. Once you come to the U.S. with your green card. The second payment is due at, uh, when the perm is filed. So You'll receive uh, a copy of the ETA 9089. You'll receive the, the PERM uh, case number. Uh, so you have documentation that your PERM has been filed. The next payment, the third payment, is due when the I-140, after the PERM is approved and the I-140 petition is filed with USCIS. Uh, and we use premium processing. That, that, that fee is included, which means that the processing time at, at USCIS for your I-140 it's going to be 15 days as opposed to about six months, uh, which, which is a huge um, time advantage. And then the final payment is due once your priority date is current and we can file either the adjustment of status petition if you're in the U.S. or the DS-260 for consular processing if you're outside the U.S. And during that last step, let me just jump 
to uh, back to the applicant stream. So during the last step, the, either adjustment of status, excuse me, or the DS-260 filing, you, uh, if you're married, your spouse, and your children under the age of 21 apply for the green card with you at that last step. So your whole family gets the green card at the same time and can come to the U.S. together. Okay, so I think, yeah, so I think I kind of covered the whole process. Um, feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions. Uh, we encourage you to uh, bookmark our page, come back to the jobs list, or at least get on the um, get on our mailing list by filling out this form, and we'll shoot you an email every time the jobs list is updated. And um, we look forward to hearing from you. I'll try to put out more videos in a, um, on a regular basis uh, that everyone's been asking for. Uh, but that's it for today. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you feel so inclined, please hit the like button and follow us. Uh, if you don't already, we really appreciate it. And we will see you in the next video. Take care.